All right, quick note um, for the end of chapter seven, Rosedale presents his case, presents his case of you need my help anyways, because even if you had frightened Bertha Dorset with the letters, uh, you need my backing or else you're just going to find yourself back here. Uh, and there is this kind of interesting, interesting um, thing here where uh, at the end of, of Lily, Lily listening to Rosedale and sort of slightly getting kind of swayed, slight, slightly bending towards it before she, um, before she does a, a, a reject it. And the note is, it certainly simplified life to view it as a perpetual adjustment, a play of party politics in which every concession had its recognized equivalent. Lily's tired mind was fascinated by this escape from the fluctuating ethical estimates into a region of concrete weights and measures. There is this thing again of Rosedale uh, as a uh, Jewish, basically it's money lender, that kind of thing. He's only in it for money. He's a materialist. Um, it's like, yes, she is the ethical, uh, she's got this ethical side, this side of justice, right and wrong. And Rosedale is used as his tempter of, no, it's just all about give and take. Uh, you know, you give me something, I give you something kind of money, weights, weights and measures, weights and measures. Um, so while Rosedale is like an interesting character and she does seem some like, you know, that there was that kind of like, ah, uh, he's actually just being direct, which is kind of nice. Uh, the other side of that is he is a soulist, uh, soulist um, money grubber. It's it's uh, is who is tempting her away from uh, a path of uh, of maybe of um, of uh, a path of being true to herself. And there's something in this not using the letters against Bertha, which uh, is something where it's like I could give in to kind of the hate and to the. A venal side of things, but I, she's resisted it. And Rosedale here is indeed tempting, tempting her again. Now at the end, the end, he says, uh, he, when he, when she says, basically, I don't, and he says, I suppose it's because the letters are to him then. Well, I'll be damned if I see what thanks you've got from him. So him in this cat, in this thing does, it's like, we're assuming it is Stepney, but uh, is there maybe a question of whether it is Selden that the letters are getting sent to? Because he knows that she's, he, he will know that he is sweet. She is sweet on Selden. Or does he just assume the letters are to Selden? I, I have to go back now and just check, but I thought those letters were to the, the Gordonless Stepney, but maybe there's, maybe they're just, maybe they're to Selden. I can't remember. I can't remember. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.